Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you once again to our let's play of Europa Universalis 4, our Ethiopia, uh, Prester John, and Blessed Nation run. Now, in our last episode, we had finished taking out Mogadishu. Uh, it was actually a fairly quick war. Uh, we do have a little bit of digesting to do. Uh, we are annexing Kaffa, and once that gets annexed and we get their seven troops for free, then we'll probably move on to our next round. We do have some Amani Separatists. They're actually a little bit worrisome just due to the fact that it's like a 25 stack, I believe. Oh, it's now a 30 stack. Ah, not good. All right, so they're a 30 stack. Um, and but, but they're at one, so hopefully it, they won't... Uh, still be degrading. Uh, we do have a Ajirani and Mogadishan uh, separatists, so they, those might be a little bit issues. So we'll see about that. In fact, what, we're, what we'll do is uh, send this 12 stack down just in case, mostly because, of course, our, <laughs> our wonderful friends would not lift a finger to help. We're almost at Miltech 12. That'll pop next year. And let's go. Okay. So, the Orono, a strange nomadic people, have crossed our border from the African interior into our borderlands. Migrating in large numbers, protected by very able warriors, their alien customs threaten to rip apart and reshape the very fabric of society here. These disciples, Awak, are quickly displacing and converting the followers of the all faiths in the area, replacing old social structures with new ones of their own. Now, this is, of course, just, you know, your standard African event. Uh, I believe it's... Well, let's see. It says, uh, we get the migration, which does unrest on Ogaden, Duramo, Sedano, Idea, RC, and Opter. So, uh, this area. Yeah, this area. Uh, it gives us a lot of issues. Oh. Pretty, pretty big issues, actually. And a whole bunch of religious unity that goes in the toilet. We're down to 60% now, so... Well, we'll see. Maybe we get to... The interesting thing is... Uh, and they are automatically an accepted culture, though. So we don't have to spend the time to actually try to change that culture. We just have to spend the time now to take the uh, faith out. I thought, oh right, that's coming down. Okay. <laughs> like, what? What? All right, so the Truce of Hajar is the moment prevented. Ah, and the Ajirani Separatists have fired. Hopefully, we us enough time. Oh, come on. Thank you. Yeesh. Okay, so this is actually a good thing we're sending down this 12 because the Mogadishan Separatists will fire pretty soon, actually. Well, we got a tactical genius for that, uh, for our Nagusa Nadas, which would last about a week and a half. Let's see. Oh, there they go. Okay, so there's 16. We should be able to handle it with a 19. Well, you do have that land leader pip now. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, they're fine. We'll send the 12 back up because we can go after Hijaz. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Hijaz allied with them looks again because, of course, they did. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so some of the West Africa is now shown. Itch. At least as far as the Kalahari. Alright, so we can take the military. So that one pops. So cool. That's good. Let's go with. You know, we're going pretty good on our. our thing here. So we'll go with the, uh, the Plains Warriors, which gives the two pips on offense. 
States. for our stance is nope, 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 and a big old nope. Nobody nope, nope. Okay. Okay, so right now, it's actually watching those Omani. Uh, that is, because it keeps getting, oh, uh, that is exactly what, oh, wow. Okay, we're sending everybody to Muscat right now. Thing up. Uh, okay, well, let's, uh, Danger Will Robinson our way up there right now, uh, because of course our other people aren't going to do anything. Okay, let's do that. Now right now the Timbers are actually blockading them, so that's good. Get, oh, oh, hopefully they're going, okay. Luckily they're going to Suhar. Yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about because they're so massive. It's gonna take almost our, well, in fact, it is gonna take our literal entire army to take care of. Really? Really? Setting our literal entire army after these guys. It's not great, it's not a wonderful situation to do, but it needs to. <laughs> That's basically the just just the flat out it needs to happen. There we go. Alright, so that was a heart attack. Uh <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, let me pause this for a second because due to attrition, it's going to take a bajillion damage. So what we need to do is we essentially need to keep all the cannons. Let's try that again. We need to keep all the cannons here. And enough. Well, that's not what I was going to do. Should be the supply limit without taking any major attrition damage. Come on. Oh, right. Unpause. Okay. And that's our major war uh, uh, rebels issue. So that's good. But it does eat well into our, our manpower. Okay. That'll do it quicker. Good. Okay. Meanwhile, Kappa. No. We'll lose the 50. We don't have the we don't have the ducket stack. You give it to him. It sucks. And apparently, uh, due to this situation, it's gonna take forever to annex Ethiopia. Or uh, uh sorry. Kappa. And the Oromo are moving around. It's not terrible, it's just kind of annoying. Because this actually just kind of keeps a lot of these issues going, and the fetishes will take forever. And that t and with a lot of, actually, I think it's like about three or uh, one or two percent on the religious unity. So that's not good. Thanks for making cash again. Okay. Thank 
it's limping along. Okay, so it's gonna limp along with the with the Kaffa. What we could probably do to help is put in an advisor. That's, oh yeah, we'll be making enough. To do that. So that should actually help Ethia uh, with them. Come on. Sort of. Okay. Sort of indeed. <sighs> okay, so the Korea, we could actually... No, we didn't break the royal ties, but... Well, let's look at this here. So they're 15. Ah, darn, we won't inherit them again. Uh, I really wish we would be able to inherit them that last time, because that would have been fun. I always like <laughs> basically taking uh, land for free, doesn't everybody? Especially the Lodia being kind of a pee. Well, they're not a pain anymore. They're definitely not a pain. All right. right, so the inevitable happened. Oh, nice air. And our dude, our, our Nagusa Nagas died. He's 50. The heir is 45. At least the Solomon Dynasty still exists. And we'll up the missionary strength for funsies. And now we've got to go around remarrying everybody. Oh, I guess this except Materia. Because why not, right? I guess we can't. I guess we can't remarry anybody. Oh, super. Minus 20%, because that's helpful. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Oh, that's why we're losing a little bit more cash than I thought, because we have. Up there. So, well, we've got another one of those decisions on our hands. If we take either Hail the Jaws or Yemen, we'll have to deal with the Mamluks. The Mamluks, however, are a ghost of what they were. They're 22 of 27. So Hejaz adds another 9, or Yemen adds another 8. So we can take one or the other. Um, or we go down to Mombasa, which is still a tech behind. Actually, it's two techs now. I think we're 12. Yeah. There are two techs behind. Yeah, what are Hajaz? Well, Hajaz is even with us? Or they're a tech ahead. Hajaz is a tech ahead. Yeah, what is a tech behind? The Mamluks are a tech ahead. So that would be a pain. Uh, going in... Well, we, we did clear some of this area to look at. At least going down the east gets us gold. And not a pain in the butt. I think that's what our plan was, was going down to Mombasa. We'll leave the 16 here. Oh, no, actually, we'll recombine them because <laughs> that's where all of our cannons are. So at least for now, we're going to leave Hejaz and, and Yemen, excuse me, alone. Because if they attack us, then uh, maybe... The Mamluks won't go for it. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so let's look at what our stacks might be. So, that would be in the wrong way. So, Hejaz will do a 20 stack. Uh, Hassa will do an 18. Naj will do 18. You know how we can actually fix some of this? Yeah, let's, let's do this. Alright, that should degrade some of this issue. <laughs> Not by a lot, but at least by some. Okay. So let's go play with Mombasa. We'll leave two cannons here, because you feel I think four is enough. And then from there. One. So that should put 17. There we go. Alright. So we'll leave 20 behind and we'll take 25. Because I believe that should be enough to take care of Mombasa. 
Mombasa's 18, and Motapa is 20. 22? Oh, never mind. Okay, well, we're going to be annexing Kafa eventually. We're finally back to zero. We were finally back to zero. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's why we're waiting until we annex Kaffa to do this. To do anything, really, because Kaffa needs to basically be done so we can take the, uh, the diplomatic stuff. Yeah. We'll be okay. We'll be fine as we die horribly tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. You gotta love it when those missions give you ideas. Sure, you know what? Here, here's something that'll completely wreck everything you want to accomplish. Because it's fun. So Elodia goes back to being a rival with the Mamluks instead of their buddy, like they were for 14 seconds. I don't get why the heck they did that. Uh, I guess they just wanted to be beaten over the head repeatedly with a stick. We can actually build improvements finally because we're making enough cash. We're making two ducats. I think we're pretty much done. Oh, yeah, we're pretty much done coring anything for a little bit. We got some provincial unrest, but we always do. And let me check. I'd like to go back up to stability three because it would help some of this unrest because it's coming. It's coming pretty bad. We got a 20 stack in either of these places, and the Hijazi are 20% as it is. Actually, at this point, we almost want to take more corruption to <laughs> to lower that the unrest. Okay, so the vassal's almost annexed. I should probably take another hiccup. Yeah, probably once that goes, they'll eat the last of the diplomatic. There we go. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Because we're getting seven out of these guys. We're going to reorganize the army. We're going to send another five units back. To go here. Because we'll get the seven, and we might as well actually make some units. Alright, so Kaffa is now ours, which is great, because not only do we don't have to spend any admin on it, but we get their gold. That gold! And at this point, another way we can save cash is we've got two. Yeah. With less, well, I mean, we could get rid of. Uh, we could keep that one because Elodia might be an issue in the future, but no, I don't think so. So, you know what? Let's just get rid of it. There we go. That'll save almost a full ducat right there. Guys, a state? Yes, we do. No, it already is a state. Then what's the issue? Oh, whatever. So Kaffa gives us eleven there and three, but <laughs> as of course we were looking at the shiny. So now with that, I believe we now have two gold fields. Because Demont game gold for some reason uh, <laughs> with the with the Denmark patch. So now we're at two gold, so we should be starting to get some cash going pretty quickly again. Oh, I think it's because we had the new uh, the new army. And that's maintenance. Uh, probably get rid of some inflation. So our army is now at 52 at least. That's a good round a good round number. <laughs> Oh, I know what it is. That seven has like no, no cannons in it. You know, I just can't explain why we suddenly lost that much. Eh, whatever. In fact, we're losing more. Oh well. 
Dr. Hila. Right. It's probably that you. Haha! <laughs> no! No! We'll get the timbers later! Let's uh let's survival or arrival. Tunis! Sure! Hey Tunis! Uh I think we can talk to you. Hey, hey Tunis, what's up? Uh, you wouldn't ally us in the universe, but that's fine. They're already still allied with the Ottomans, yeah. They're kind of the Ottomans' buddies. You know, and probably other words, starting with B, that we can't say over <laughs> the Ubli tubes. Alright, so let's just uh, check it too quiet. Quick time check. Okay, we'll give it another minute or two. More aroma settlers. Well, that's great. So what it looks like is Aroma probably will end up taking over the whole area. I mean, we could convert over to fetishism, but that would kind of not... That's our capital, too. That's... That is frustrating. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We either get a, 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 a skill 2 Inquisitor, which... We don't really have the cash for, or we just get, for 10 years, missionary strength of 1%. Ooh. Ooh. Let's Pop at 11, so that's fine. I don't know if we can get there before that gets another 10 years of separatism. So there's the lesson, kids. Deal with your rebels as quick as you can. <laughs> Maybe I should have spent some uh, military power into making them shut up. I hate doing that, but that's mostly out of kind of sympathetic to their cause kind of thing. Come on, thank you. I mean, at least we have the manpower for it, but it's really just the manpower, the losing separatism, and losing cash. That's kind of the ugh of it. Alright, so we'll deal with these guys. I mean, this... Let's see... Wait, park right there. Because they're going to fire anyway. Then you can fire right on them and they'll die. Whatever! <laughs> what is our religious unity? It's 59% thanks to that unit. Uh, man, this is the worst I think I've ever seen as far as uh, a country's unity is. And this isn't even my fault. This is due to that. This is a large part due to an entire fifth of our original country going to the, this fetishism. Oh, meanwhile. Oh, good. Uh, that's good to see. The big rebel stack wasn't so big. Didn't even fire off. We don't lose separatism in yet another section. So we'll have them park in Qatar. And it shouldn't be so big of an issue for these hostiles. They're all 1.1s, but then again, I thought the Omani wouldn't go to fire off. They did. <laughs> Shows my great strategy. Ah, lose another stability or lose 90 ducats. Ah, I think we'll lose the 90 ducats. We're making 181, so that's good. Oh, now we're making 233, which means finally the eating kappa has, drinking some kappa <laughs> has fired up. Actually, having the religion pop over, ah, there we go, will actually help Free increase the unity. The autonomy will go down a little bit, and we'll make some more cash. In fact, that's probably what it was. The autonomy going is starting to go down to the point where we can actually make some ready cash again. Uh, 17. Actually, that's not bad. It's 1.5 for 17. Let's look at where it is. Okay, that's an area that's already fired off. Okay, so we're going to leave it here. 
Um, yeah, it's another one of those. It's kind of like hopping around. Uh, it's putting out fires episode. But we will be going after Mombasa. In fact, let's... Uh, oh, we can fabricate like 12 flames on them now. Let's steal their maps. Let's steal their maps. Anatolia. Asia. I don't want that either. You can't like, duh. Uh, that stinks. It'd be a nice way to get some of these, but they won't let us because apparently. Why won't? We have no units in Region J2. Oh. Fine then. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll fabricate like 12 claims. Kiss my, kiss my oath. <laughs> We're going to be very nice about not actually saying stupid things about that. Why can't I take Bardera? Because that's their stuff. <laughs> wow. My brain is pudding. Because I was looking at the states, not the freaking... I don't think we can fabricate one more. Uh, yeah, we need 25 to fabricate three. So we'll just clear that out. And uh, that's where we're going to leave it next episode. Is we're going to probably start war with Mombasa now that all that fire has been put out. I mean, we're going to keep... Yeah, we're going to get the 20... In fact, we'll just send the 25 back. I think those two stacks are kind of low. 15... Okay, never mind. We'll keep the 25 there and we'll, we'll go to war with 27. How's this? Let's do. Let's bring it up to 35. So we need eight. Okay, if we had the money, we give it to eight. But so okay. So we'll bring it to 30 even with uh, three more dudes. And that's uh, what's we're gonna leave it. So I'll start the war with Mombasa. It won't be too huge. We're uh, we're gonna grab too much. We're just gonna kind of inch by inch down. Uh, probably take these two former Ajirani lands, maybe, maybe all the way down to Kismayo. <laughs> I'm so immature, I'm sorry. <laughs> but at least take these two, because that's going to be quite a bit of coring as it is. That's going to be 26 there. If we hit Kismayo, well, we need to because we, it's bet, uh, Betel Wine. Yeah, or Kismayo are our two claims. So either we take these three, or we take these two and a whole bunch of junk, which uh, we'll see how it goes in time. Um, these, f it'd be probably these four. Maybe Gato, so maybe these five. But at least these two are our real goal. Barara Barawa and Mersa are the real goal so we can get that uh, force limit, because that'll put us at almost two, two and a quarter men from there. So, all right, we're going to have, uh, so I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. I mean, it's snowing like crazy out here, <laughs> which is actually not, not, not normal for <laughs> this part of Oregon. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, so I hope you have a, uh, I hope you can stay, can <laughs> Stay careful out there, stay safe, and class dismissed.